Good evening, you're watching Outside the Box. This is a show that allows you to interact directly with the people or party candidates who will be after your, uh, your votes in these elections. Now to our daily poll now, yesterday's question was, do we need to review the role of the TLTB? 83.33% voted in the affirmative, while 11.11% disagreed. Today's question is, should the decentralization of health services continue? Text your answer is simply yes or no to 3592. The poll is open to Vodafone, Digicel and Incuses. Charges apply. First on the show tonight is Lai Sambalia from the Fiji Labour Party, a newbie in politics. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Mikhail. Now, first question for you, uh, Laisa, why politics and why the choice to stand for Fiji Labour Party? Um, well, thank you, Mika. I think for me the motivation to get involved in the political process in Fiji was really driven by my concern for the development indicators in our country. That is the high rates of youth employment, high poverty rates, high cost of living. And also, um, having experienced four coups, I now have a daughter who has had to experience two coups, I maybe pause for a second to um, ask myself the question, is there a better path and can I contribute? And why the Fiji Labour Party, as you know, or probably don't know, I'm a socialist and I have worked my career in social development, helping communities, and so it was the perfect fit for me. And I believe in the principles that were established some 29 years ago. Okay, now you are FLP's youth rep, you know, uh, in, this, uh, uh, in the September 2014 election. So wh what do you think uh, youths of Fiji uh, really need in this election? What are they after, do you think? Um, well, I believe at the moment that uh, the youth of Fiji are looking for bread and butter issues. There's high rates of employment from our dialogue uh, with the community, and I believe that the Fiji Labour Party has got the right policies. Uh, as you know, we have a six uh, options for the young people of our nation in relation to um, youth unemployment. Mm -hmm. And uh, therefore, I believe that uh, this is what the young people are f of, of our country are searching for. Mm. Um, if I may articulate what those uh, six are, if you're unemployed, then of course we have a national service scheme that promotes volunteer services to the community, mm -hmm. as well as um, providing um, employment and uh, education, uh, as well as um, providing an allowance. Then of course if you're a young person that's interested in business, we provide some startup funds for mm -hmm. young people. Uh, if you're a young person that's interested in uh, pursuing your talents, we hope to ins uh, Establish Institute of Fine Arts. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, if you're a young person interested in agriculture, then mm -hmm. we're interested in um, helping the young people establish agricultural estates. Yeah. If we're a young person that's um, pursuing education, mm -hmm. uh, we hope to um, review the education system as well as uh, provide 50% uh, of the funds that mm -hmm. the young students who are coming out of our tertiary education owe to back to government or have borrowed uh, to pursue the educational dreams. And uh, the last but not the least okay. is the young people pursuing um, maybe their dreams in decision making okay. uh, that we will establish in all the towns and the, the major two towns in the city, mm -hmm. um, national youth um, councils. And underlying that is of course our commitment to CEDO. Okay, I think this call on the line, uh, Paula from Tadiru, I'm uh, uh, Paula, uh, go ahead and ask your question. Uh, Paula, go ahead and ask your question. Uh, the question is, you know, Labour Party has been uh, given all the years to look after the interests of the people, right? Uh, the, the only Wait, what is your question, Paula? My question is, why, why can't they change the leadership so that they can attract a lot of people to come and join the party? Thank you. You heard the question from Paula? Um, yeah, I think I understood the question. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I, I think that uh, the Fiji Labour Party has got noble um, course and uh, I actually firmly believe that the, the Fiji Labour Party leader has a lot to contribute to Fiji. I think Paul, what Paul is saying, you change the party leader, uh, people will, will be voting for the Labour Party. How do you find that question? I um, think that uh, the, the, the right to vote for wh whichever leader that uh, you want is not up to me, it's up to the constituents and it is for them to now exercise mm -hmm. under this voting system which individual they want. Mm -hmm. And so therefore I believe that you know we stand uh, with our party leader and fully support him. We, we believe that he has a lot to offer Fiji. Yeah, there's there's a, little, a, little bit, a lot of questions been raised about your party leader. Does it worry, worry you in terms of the votes you will be getting in these elections? 
Absolutely not, because I believe that the Fiji Labour Party has been around for 29 years, and we stand uh, for the principles. It's not about us individually, it's about the constituency and the people. Mm -hmm. And we're very, very fortunate to have our party leader who's guided us through. Do you think the country still needs his experience? Absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind. Uh, for one year of uh, leadership as our Prime Minister mm -hmm. in this country, he's already shown uh, the nation what he could do. No other Prime Minister, I think, uh, has been able to match his record. Okay. And I think I will leave it at that. Okay. Now, your party have led uh, government before. You know, do you think it provided r real solutions to crime? I think our party never were really given the opportunity to serve the... It wasn't given the opportunity? No, it wasn't. It was uh, in, in power for one month at the first instant, and then one year at the second instant. And I don't think that it um, was able to fully implement its, I, you know, the, the principles of, of the money party manifesto. But I think that within the year, it actually did uh, very well for itself in uh, trying to solve as best as it can the crime issues, the employment issues, and mm -hmm. growing our economy. Right. Now, has enough been done to ensure uh, our youths are well equipped, you know, with skills for the local job market? That is something that we hope to review. Um, if the people of Fiji are um, confident enough to vote us back into power, we will ensure that uh, the education system is meeting the demands. And I think that um, not only we're talking about the local demand, but more so also as international uh, citizens, the international demand as well. And that's something that we will look. Uh, to do if we get back into power. Okay. Now, you're up against uh, 249 um, uh, candidates out there, 248, uh, what, 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 what makes you think that you are the best, you know, uh, out of all the youth uh, leaders out there of all, of, of all different uh, political parties, that the people will, will vote for you into the new uh, parliament? Well, um, let me say this, uh, Mika. I think that I should commend all the other youth uh, candidates for actually taking up the challenge to run this political race. Perhaps what defines me from the rest is I come with a lot of uh, experience, both thematically. I've worked in government, in NGO, in the business sector, and also internationally. Mm. I've worked across 14 countries uh, in the Pacific plus in Afghanistan. And I have a range of uh, thematic experience that I could bring, and I think that that would uh, add um, to the progress of our country. How many votes uh, are, you, are you looking at winning? Well, I wish I had a crystal ball that I could predict with some certainty. Any idea? Um, the feedback has been positive, and mm -hmm. I think uh, I, at the end of the day, it's not up to me, it's up to the voters. Okay, right. Well, stay with us. Joining us next is Manoj Kamal from the Fiji United Freedom Party. Welcome back. Join our discussion live tonight by texting in your questions to 3599 or call our studio line 3302100. And remember, you can have your say in our journey poll. The question is still, should the decentralization of health services continue? Simply text yes or no to 3592 to all Vodafone, Digicel, and Ink users. We are now joined by Manoj Kamal from the Fiji United Freedom Party. Good evening. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Mr. Mika. Now, you're an automotive engineer. Yes, I am. By profession. The question is, why politics? Um, why politics? It's a good question. Um, I wanted to be in uh, politics uh, a long time ago, but I didn't have a chance to do that one. So uh, it was a very good uh, time for me to come in as um, uh, there's a lot of issues here to solve with. So uh, it was a very good time. It okay. is a good time for me to come in. So that's why I chose this. All right, good. Now, Mr. Kamal, we will we'll take uh, a text question from our vi a viewer, one of our viewers uh, now. Uh, will your party support uh, free bus fare? Yes. And free school fees? Yes. How? Uh, the same system is going on, so we just support that one free uh, for the time being. So you don't have any new ideas or new initiatives about... Uh, how to um, improve uh, school, uh, the initiatives on school, free, sc free uh, bus fare and uh, free school fees? Free school fares will continue okay. as it is. Uh, we don't want to touch on that issue yet. Why? Uh, uh, because everyone is getting free, so they don't want to be taken off. With. Okay. All right. Now, people still complain about the standard of living. What do you think? Yes, I do agree with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, you see the prices are very high. And... Um, um, if the prices are high and your income is low, 
you, you can't uh, buy all the stuff what you need. Mm. So what 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 your party um, uh, is proposing on that? We we have um, we have a model, as you know of that one. Um, this model will come in, uh, and um, we'll have employment in there. Okay. And um, if we have employment and uh, people have money in their pocket, then there's no problem. What is the model? Model it's come it consists with um, it's a supreme council, and and it's a business council and um, a council for saints. Mm. Okay. All right. And uh, another text question for my viewers. Um, if your political party gets into power, what, what is your plan of contracting of civil servants? Um, we're not making a government. As you know, we are only three candidates. So basically, um, to answer you your question... You may hold the key to forming, you know, yes. form the next government. Yes, it could be possible, yes. Okay. Um, and you may hold the power, you know, to do that. We you may demand ministerial positions if you have, if that if that happens. Do you think we'll have to wait and see for that? Okay, but you we are very looking forward for that. Okay, but are you is your party looking forward to win in this election? Yes, right. We are very confident about okay. it. If, if if you say that, then what what will make your party win? Uh, uh, for instance, um, in our manifesto, we just have l launched our manifesto on Tuesday in our village in uh, Singitoka. Um, we are going from, we are, we are talking from grassroots level. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not a very good speaker. <laughs> so, uh, How can they make you a good politician then? Uh, it can. It, it will. Can? It will. It will. It will. It will. Okay. And time will tell you. All right. Uh, so we are coming from grassroots level and um, um, this is where we launched our manifesto. So I don't think so any party has done that one. Okay. And um, uh, as you asked me a question to how we are going to win this election. Yeah. Um, well, that's your own question, so you're going to answer your own question. <laughs> What's your answer to your own question? We will definitely win the, que uh, we'll definitely yeah. win the election because uh, our manifesto has all the answers in it. Okay. For, uh, 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 for our voter, uh, it, all the questions, all, the, the, all his questions will be answered in our manifesto. Okay. Why is it, do you think, there is so much talk about the land, land issue? Very good um, question, uh, Mr. Mika. Uh, we actually, uh, uh, every time we have a problem in this country, yeah. we, we, uh, we, we hear that uh, and they blame for the land, 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 land. So our party um, has actually solved some of the land issues already before we have marched into parliament. How has it done that? Um, uh, in Nandronga Navosa, yeah. about 250 chiefs and landowners and land resource owners, uh, they have placed their land to our manifesto. Uh, sorry, not the manifesto, our model. All right. And that model, as I mentioned earlier on, about um, uh, the Council for Science and uh, um, right. the Business Council right. and the uh, Supreme Council. Right. And they like that model very much. But you, you still haven't explained what, what the mo model does. The model will... Um, the model will bring in the resource owners, okay. land owners, and we'll bring in the investors. Okay. And then we'll sit down and uh, we'll explain to them what they want. Yeah. And uh, it's a win-win situation. End of the day, we're talking about money here. Okay. So if, if the land owners has enough money, um, they get enough money from the investors, mm -hmm. uh, we, they will be happy. All right. Um, Kamal, uh, this is Rakesh from Batuanga, is on the line. Uh, Mula Rakesh, go ahead and ask your question. Uh, Rakesh, Mula. Hello. Yes, your question, Rakesh. Question is, should health service good or not good? Yeah. Sorry, Take it. repeat your question, Rakesh. Should health service good or not good? Question is, should health service Good or not good? Okay, I think I think he's uh, asking about improvement to health service. Eh? Uh, what, what do you think of the health service in the country right now? Is it good or? It's getting better. Yeah. But we'll make it best. How? Uh, How will you do that? First, let us uh, march into parliament, right. and we'll show you. Okay. 
Well, you should show people now. I mean, people are uh, wanting to vote on, on what uh, you have to uh, place before them. We, uh, we they would not want to uh, vote, uh, vote uh, for you, for something that you'll, you're promising to uh, tell them later when in, in Parliament. We'll definitely make a change. Um, all the patients will be seen, uh, as, as you see all the time, the, the patients complain that we don't have, uh, we, we have, we're taking whole day in an uh, outpatient or something like that. Okay. But we'll change that one. Uh, we will have a time limit for one patient to be seen. Yeah. And uh, basically that will solve the problem. All right, all right. You're an uh, automotive engineer by, yes, by yes. trade. And uh, back at garages, do you think we have a problem with that? Yes, uh, uh, I think uh, if we change uh, the backyard garages into professional garages, mm. um, we'll say we, we'll get economy to the government and uh, we'll have employment. Yeah. So basically what's happening now is if the backyard garages are running, yeah. we are uh, uh, damaging our environment. Okay. And, um, and, and the, gov the statistics to government is unemployment. Thank you, Kamal. There's uh, Chris from Wale Lebo on the line. Uh, Chris. Yeah, bula, bula, your question is? Yeah. Go ahead, Chris, uh, Chris uh, ask your question. Uh, what, are, what are the plans from Manoj party for the police force? What are the plans of Kamal? Okay. Uh, what, 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 are, what are your party's police plans force? for the police force? See, we want to merge military with police force. Okay. Uh, and then they will work very effectively. Okay. Uh, to keep the crime. All right. We say match military. Merge. With, with merge. 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 Okay. All right. Okay. Well, in our final segment, Simone Neituku from the National Federation Party joins us. Welcome back. Remember, you can join the discussion live by texting in your questions to 3599 or call our studio line 3302100. And finally, we have Simone Naituku from the National Federation Party on the show. Welcome to Out of the Box. Bola Mika. Bola Mika. Now, do you think entering politics is one of the best decisions you have made? Yes, I think I mean, it's the, probably the, my greatest uh, um, uh, area that I've reached. Uh, politics probably is the realm that uh, I can offer the greatest service to the members of the public, mm -hmm. from Parliament. Okay, so it's, it's one of your best decisions? Your yes. best decisions? Yes. Right. Now, you're, you um, worked for Ministry of Trade and Commerce uh, before yes. entering politics? Yes. Okay, um, and you understand about Spatica? Yes. All right, and it's coming to an end this year? Yes. And you know that 5,000 uh, families, their life are dependent on Spatica? Yes. Because of the free trade uh, uh, with Australia, mm -hmm. in terms of a government and, and textile, how can you, or what can your party do to, to extend this from 2015 onwards? Well, uh, first of all, we, we need to look at uh, the mode of Sparga. Uh, learn from the previous lessons, and then uh, let's look at the regional and the domestic issues where Sparka has taken uh, the industry. So when we bring that now, and then for us to review it, we need to look at two issues. All right. The price fixing and the quota fixing. All right. Okay, what I'm saying here is that the price fixing is that uh, all those uh, who are involved in this Spartaca uh, meaning Fiji and other right. countries, uh, could come along to a, a medium where they have only one mode of price fixing okay. and probably the code. Okay. The code is very, very important. So we need a, a regional or a global code fixing. So once you uh, fix this, yes, you think you can maintain the 5,000 jobs that are at stake? Yes, we can. Okay. We can. Uh, also, there are other avenues we can look at. Price fixing and quota fixing. Eh? Um, you know, uh, we are, we are Fiji stands against uh, Bangladesh and China, who are bigger suppliers of, of textile yes. um, and, and uh, clothing to Australia also. And uh, their prices are, are much, much lesser than, than us. Eh? Um, how can we uh, compete against them? Well, um, there's one mode we only can uh, go into this. Okay. Uh, let's take the quality. 
I think uh, in uh, in trade and commerce, I think uh, that's probably where the ISO mm -hmm. standard comes in. We need to look at the quality, mm -hmm. the quality of the product that uh, we produce here. Probably it will uh, make a difference as we come to that on that area. Okay. Well, Paula, Paula from Tedro is on the line. I'm uh, going Paula, go ahead and ask your question. Mm -hmm. Paula, go ahead and ask your question. The question is on the monopoly, the OLFP. Okay. Uh, does does uh, Simon think that is the best option for landowners? Master Lee, you have heard what he say? Is it, is it the best option for landowners? Well, let's take uh, a look at other avenues and uh, uh, proportions that uh, the land has been uh, enveloped. So the master lease is probably the best we can offer so that uh, there are two issues that would come in. Okay. Uh, land use right. and uh, land safety and land preservation. Okay. So master lease uh, probably could uh, just do that. Does it uh, guarantee ownership? Does it uh, uh, guarantee the maintenance of uh, indigenous rights over the land, master lease? Well, I think we, we need to look at uh, holistically on a, on, a, on a wider range mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we have the TLTB there, the land bank, and then the lands department itself. Okay. And then w after looking at these areas, then we can uh, uh, conjunct with the master list so that we can bring up the the general issues of the land to a, a much receptive level. So you're saying if, you're, if, you're, if your party wins elections and form a government, yes. uh, it'll maintain TLTB, it'll maintain the land bank, and then Master Lease will, will, will come in as a complementary. Yes, I think that is important uh, because uh, there are other people out there, because this commodity uh, is very, very important to the general public. Okay. Yes. I think we have a caller from uh, Singatoka. Uh, Mulu sir, go ahead and ask your question. Yes. I would like to ask if uh, NFP comes into the government, will they open PG for business or remain uh, closed as the present regime has done? Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir, for that question. I think any government, uh, uh, let's say, the, any government who is under the realm of the uh, third world country uh, needs to look, this, uh, look at this very seriously. It needs to bring in investors. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, we have a certain percentage of uh, 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 local investors. We need to bring in more investors. Mm -hmm. So the more investors that comes in, the better for the competition for the product on whatever. So how can you do that? What, what's, how can you do that? What, what, you know, to get more investors in, we have, well, you know, we have to grow our local investors too. Well, um, you might have noticed that the government has been, been going on abroad, mm -hmm. uh, having trade talks on multilateral and bilateral agreements. Mm -hmm. With this, with the issues that we have, the investment that we already have can conjunct with uh, bringing those investments or investors to Fiji mm -hmm. that it is the best place for their product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. And that's uh, all for tonight. Uh, tune in again tomorrow to view the results of our poll. Remember, you can still text in your answers. The question line will be open until 6 p.m. tomorrow. Again, the question is, the uh, question is, should the decentralization of health services continue? Text in your answer, yes or no, to 3592 for all Vodafone, Digital and Incusers. Join me again tomorrow as we feature other political party candidates vying for your vote. Good evening.